Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm hanging out at Disneyland to check out all the preparations for the 100th anniversary. So how about you and I dive right in. And just like that, we've made it. And upon getting to the Esplanade, they're playing an all new music loop for the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. And right now they're playing a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Oh man, I missed the carousel of progress. I wasn't able to make it on that attraction last time I was at Disney World. So hopefully fingers crossed on the next trip. But I'm glad they changed the music loop here for the longest time. We were used to the old tracks, which were still wonderful, but it's nice to switch things up, especially during uh, the midst of a giant celebration. And also here in the Esplanade, they have all of the banners all set up and ready to go. Yeah, we just have a few hours remaining until the official kickoff of the celebration. So they're just doing a few little touch-ups here and there and they should be done. And hopefully they were fixing some of those signs that had some wrong dates on them. So fingers crossed they went back and replaced those. And with bam, we've made it through the gate. Another thing I've noticed on the turnstile entries, they also have some banners and decorations up for the 100th. You know, let's see if they changed the map. They might have changed the map for the 100th. No, they're still kind of the generic Disneyland, which there's nothing wrong with that. Made it to Main Street. What a beautiful day it is today. It's very quiet. They might be doing a show or they might be filming something because there are some media events happening for the next couple days for the celebration. We have all the purple and platinum bunting everywhere. And over here at the Opera House, they're switching things over to the uh, Disney 100 Years of Wonder Gallery. So really excited to check that out on the uh, grand opening this Friday. Now, in addition to all the cool decorations popping up, a new one popped up overnight. And it's a platinum Mickey statue, and it sits right in the middle of Town Square on Main Street. It's really nice. The only thing that's kind of weird, though, is the quote that's underneath it is a little off. So I'm wondering if they'll go back and fix that overnight uh, because it's not started with a mouse. It was started by a mouse. So. Uh, hopefully they'll fix that. We're gonna make our way to the castle, but just remember that this celebration is not the 100th anniversary of Disneyland. It's the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. Oh, and look at this over here at Sleeping Beauty Castle. They've turned on the fountains. Those look really cool. Yeah, see, I hope they just keep these around all the time because it just adds so much to this already beautiful setting. And over here at the partner statue, they have all these beautiful purple and pink flowers that go beautifully with the decorations that are on Main Street. Ooh, and look at this, another statue. This one's Minnie Mouse. Love that. You know, I gotta really be careful today. Even though it's a beautiful day, this could be stage five sunburn as well. I'm gonna slowly start making my way towards Toontown. I haven't seen everything with the walls down, so we're gonna check that out. But by the way, the celebration here kicks off January 27th and runs for a very long time. So you're gonna have lots of opportunities to check out all of the festivities. And look at this, perfect timing. The all new monorail wrap is appearing. There she is, Disney 100th iridescent monorail. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's so nice to see all of the construction fences down here at Mickey's Toontown and that all new marquee sign looks fantastic as well. It's incredibly vibrant in person. Now, the reason why we can't go back there right now is because they're in the process of doing cast member previews for the attraction. So shout out to all those cast members that finally get to enjoy Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway and little bits of Toontown because they obviously had to reveal some of that in order for guests to get to and from the attraction. Now, it's really fun while I'm standing here as you can hear some of the soundscape in Toontown. I'm really curious and excited to hear the full length of that soundscape once the land opens up in March. Now, we'll get a sneak peek of all that when Mickey and Minis opens up because we'll see bits and pieces of Toontown. But yeah, the whole thing opens up in March. Toontown needed this so bad and I'm just really happy that Disney finally addressed it and also added an all new attraction. They didn't take anything out. So that's really cool. Let's continue our journey towards Haunted Mansion because you saw earlier that It's a Small World's open. So let's check up on the mansion. You know, one can't help but to stop and enjoy the views, the rivers of America. It's such a gorgeous day today. It's stunning. It's perfect for 
like all these beautiful shots that I love to get in the videos as well, all that B-roll. Yeah, I, I love days like this. You know, I love when it rains and stormy, but man, oh man, blue skies, can't beat it. And another thing that I've noticed on my way to Haunted Mansion is that they've swapped out a lot of the popcorn containers. So the uh, paper container that you get now has the 100th anniversary stuff all over it, as well as the plastic popcorn buckets. Those have a bunch of new designs on them as well. Bit of a bummer that they couldn't get the Adventureland Treehouse uh, inspired by Swiss Family Robinson open in time for the 100th anniversary. That would have been cool to have Mickey and Minnie's as a new attraction and the Treehouse in addition to that. So that, that would have been pretty epic. Maybe a little too epic for Disneyland and that's probably why they're holding off. And there's still a lot of work to be done as well. So the Haunted Mansion holiday is still open, but your last day to ride this version of the attraction will be January 29th because on the 30th it'll close and they'll transform it back into the OG Haunted Mansion that we know and love. But this uh, Haunted Mansion holiday run was pretty long. I don't ever remember it going all the way up until the end of January, unless, unless I'm wrong and I just don't pay attention that much. But uh, yeah, so we have a couple more days left to enjoy Haunted Mansion holiday. Now here in Critter Country, our version of Splash Mountain remains open. And you know, I'm not sure when they're supposed to close this version. At Walt Disney World, oh wow, they were really scared. But as I was saying, yeah, the Walt Disney World version took its final bow just a couple days ago and now is starting its transformation into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now, as far as ours is concerned, yeah, Disney hasn't released any sort of information on the closure. And even when you go into the Disneyland Park app, it doesn't say anything but just looking forward to Tiana's Bayou Adventure in 2024. So maybe they might close this on January 27th or that following week uh, because Mickey and Minnie's will be open. And that way they don't have to worry about closing a you know big attraction down. But who knows? I'll keep an eye on it every single week. I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram because if they do drop some news, I'll break it there first. And in addition to the Instagram, if you're new here and you love these Disneyland updates or just theme park stuff in general, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on made my way to the heart of New Orleans Square and I do love how they leave up some of the decorations uh, after the holidays because there are Mardi Gras celebrations happening around the country so I'm happy to see the beads are still up here in New Orleans Square and hopefully they'll keep them up uh, for a little bit longer. They usually do this but what I'm kind of surprised is that they don't do a Mardi Gras festival here like would that be so cool to do a New Orleans Square Mardi Gras party? The park wasn't that busy when I got here, but man, oh man, it looks like some more people are starting to show up, especially for pirates. I mean, it is a classic attraction. You got to do it. Here in Adventureland, they're still working on the paving project, but look at this. If you want to place your mobile order for Bengal Barbecue, you can do so by scanning this QR code. So that's pretty convenient. And just as a reminder, this is still a dead end while they work on this project. So yeah, you can't go beyond this point. Okay, no sudden movements, no sudden movements. The strollers are multiplying. Oh, even the scooters are doing the same thing. They're like the spider bots in Avengers Campus. Well, that's gonna do it for Disneyland side. Let's jump ship over to the other park and see what's going on over there for the 100th. I'm really excited for Friday. It's gonna be a really fun day. It's gonna be mayhem. And I, again, like I was saying earlier, I'm ready for the mayhem.
and look at this, right next to Elias & Co, we have this giant coin. Looks like a coin at least, the Disney 100 Years of Wonder. Oh yeah, this is pretty. All right, we gotta see what's on the other side of this coin here. Look at this Disneyland Resort where wonder comes to life. Oh yeah. Ooh, and look at this, Carthay Circle's all decked out for the 100th as well. We have the giant medallion at the very, very top there and on the sides with those banners. Looks very pretty. Very interested to see what's going on with this star though. That is Maybe that star had a little too much to drink. Now, I'm not sure if they have any other decorations beyond this point, especially down the parade corridor because Lunar New Year is happening right now, but it doesn't hurt to do a little stroll and get some extra steps in. By the way, side note, since Grizzly River Run is going through a refurbishment right now, it'll open up later this spring, the waterfall is turned off. Ooh, look at this. This is some major developments happening here in the Pacific Wharf. Now this is all for the San Francisco makeover from Big Hero 6 because this is what this is all gonna turn into. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be too many subtle differences here, uh, but the main thing is gonna be this bridge. It'll be like the Golden Gate Bridge, but it looks like the preliminary work on that has begun. They have some scaffolding set up right here and they're also starting to dig right below the bridge. Might be some foundation work because of the heavier load that's gonna be going on this. Oh yeah, here's the other side as well. Yeah, there, there might be uh, some foundation work happening right there. I think that is uh, the case. Because yeah, I think they're gonna redo the support structure on the bridge as well because the new bridge, it's gonna go really high. So, it, it's, I mean, it's gonna be the San Francisco uh, Golden Gate Bridge, or well, San Francisco Bridge. So, well, wouldn't that be funny if they reuse some of the old bits of the Golden Gate Bridge that used to be in the front entrance to California Adventure? They just have it waiting in the back, just sitting there collecting dust. They're like, yeah, this is a great idea, but we just do this and we could reuse those pieces. Yeah, this is always fun to watch. This is like my favorite part of any new project It's just the construction phase and the build out. Just such a theme park nerd, I love this stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, fun to watch this over time. I don't know the timetable on this. I don't know how quickly they wanna get this done. I wouldn't think it would take them that long. And I say that only because this is just a very um, light reskin of the Pacific Wharf. Like they're not adding new rides or anything like that. So I don't think this will take them anything like two or three years to complete. Looks like World of Color is ready. It's in show mode right now. Cast members are setting up this area. I know they're doing a thing for the media this evening. So they'll be able to see World of Color one. I'll be here on Friday to hopefully see both the shows, World of Color 1 and the fireworks show over at Disneyland. If it's not windy, we've uh, been having some serious winds lately here in SoCal. So fingers crossed that Mother Nature is cooperative on uh, Friday. We'll find out on Friday, but I'm very curious to see what these are all about because they're in addition to all the lighthouse infrastructure right here. They installed these not too long ago and I'm thinking they have, oh, there's one open right there. Looks like some lighting. So maybe they're doing some more lighting effects. And I see right here, they have some uh, other barges, but I'm thinking that's for the pyro for Lunar New Year, or they might be testing out pyro for World of Color as well, for World of Color 1. Made my way out of the pier and into Grizzly Peak, one of my favorite areas of the park just because of all the shade. It feels so much cooler over here. It is a little warm today, uh, which is a little odd because it's been freezing lately, but I love it. Here at Grizzly River Run though, opening up this spring from its refurbishment. They're working on the attraction, getting it ready for the spring break crowds and summer. Yeah, really not too much happening, nothing crazy. They didn't add a vertical loop or a barrel roll. Now that would have been pretty good for the 100th anniversary. That, that would have been something else. But as always during the winter, a perfect time to refurb this attraction because it gets so busy during the summer. And this is like the longest wait in the entire park just because it gets so hot. And I'm thinking this year here in SoCal, it's gonna be very, very hot. And before we round it out, I just wanted to point out one more thing. A lot of people were bashing Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood about sight lines. And I mean, hey, if you wanna talk about sight lines, we could talk about sightlines. Father and me, I want to be a bad man cub, stroll right into town, and be just like the other men. I'm tired of monkeying around. Oh, booby doo, I want to be like you. Shoo I want to walk like you, hey. talk like you. Hey. Shoo it it just seems true. Shoo it someone like me. Shoo it can learn to be hey. like someone hey. like you. What else? But that's it for California Adventure. Let's head through downtown Disney and wrap it up. Okay, again with the Esplanade music, I'm walking into downtown Disney and they started playing the old California screaming music. My goodness, that just brought back 
so many memories that I'm, I'm already in love with this playlist. Now there's gonna be a lot happening here at La Brea Bakery because this will all be closed as it transitions into Earl of Sandwich, which then will close and transition into Porto's. Yeah, I don't get it either. If you find purple flowers, chances are you're gonna find some more decorations and look at this, another coin has popped up. Okay, again with the music. Again, I can't let you listen to it, but right now they're playing the OG Space Mountain music and I have been dying for them to bring this back. Like just one day, Disney, bring back the soundtrack. It's so good. Oh man, this is probably one of the greatest Esplanade downtown Disney loops I've ever heard. Got some work walls around the Wonderground Gallery and Disney Home Store. Be working on these bad boys. See, this is the kind of fun we're gonna be having at downtown Disney soon. And in addition to all the work happening right here, they're also still working on the Jazz Kitchen. The Express booth has uh, been closed and is going through renovation right now, but the top deck here seems to be done. And by the way, Jazz Kitchen is still open during renovation. Now over here at the monorail station, they are working on the entrance. Now to get to the monorail, you just go right here, right next to the pin shop. Just keep that in mind while they're working on this. I, again, I have no idea what's happening here. I'm assuming they're just upgrading the turnstiles and maybe repaving some of this area. And then as far as any vertical construction, nothing happening on this end of downtown Disney just yet. Now Disney has talked about the additions. They've talked about Din Tai Fung and all that, but again, no time frame. Ooh, and look at this over here by ESPN Zone. Another coin has shown up. I wonder what happens when you collect all the coins. Only thing though, you can't fit these in your pocket. Ooh, and look at this, this giant Mickey statue, another platinum statue. This one's way bigger than the one on Main Street. And with that, I think we're gonna wrap it up from the Disneyland Resort. Gonna be some exciting things happening in the next couple days and I am ready. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video from the Disneyland Resort. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these updates from Disneyland or some of your other favorite theme parks, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week. I'll be here for the 100th anniversary kickoff of the Walt Disney Company right here at Disneyland. And I'm really excited to show you everything. It's gonna be an all day excursion, probably one of my longest videos that will be on the channel because we're gonna cover the new attraction. We're gonna be covering the shows, the merchandise, the food, and so much more. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.